beautiful virtual railroaders. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, I am Cowboy Siv, and let's do some train talk. In my last couple of videos, we I had a question on my mini map. Where it is you get it. So we'll go through that. It is on GitHub. And I will put a link in the description. Give you guys quicker, faster connection to it. And then I will go through it. I will show you guys the features, what you can do on it. Some of it I don't understand. But if others do, please leave comments down on how some of the upper or some of the other stuff works. If you know what to do. So with that, let's get into the extended. All right, now that we're into extended, first things you want to do is, of course, be on railroads online, be on a map, have it loaded. Now we want to attach it. It'll go through, say done. Now let's go to the map. So this is follow player, so it'll follow your movement along the map. And we'll show you where you are on your railroad. This will help you search. And then zoom out. And then zoom in. Those are the three basic functions. Now. Come over here. Click on it. It'll tell you what each building is. Engine shed. And you can teleport directly to it. Click on here. Firewood Depot. Show info. Input, I have 15 of 32 of Courtwood. So now when you drop off logs, lumber, beams, whatever, it's gonna go to the Courtwood feature. So, holds 32. Our output is, we have a stack of 15, stack of 100, stack of 70, stack of 15. Each stack is 100. So this will show you what the freight that the firewood depot has currently available what you have in storage now you come over here same thing show info well there's only input at the depot so this is all your inputs it gives you the prices per car so if you need to know how much you're going to make train load you can come here and this will give you for every industry come over here look show info shows you the prices they're all pretty much relatively the same so if we zoom out let's go to the thumbnail here show info there we go now they have done updates you can use the cranes in here on the map you can click on the cranes to load so if you don't want to sit there and click on the crane, you can be in here. You can control your trains. I'll show you that in a minute. Here you can use the cranes to load the lump beams and lumber. And once again, it shows you input, what's stocked up, how many each one you have, and each output for storage. So that will come come out now another cool feature is you can move the switches on your maps zoom in a little bit so red means that side is closed black is open when you flip it now this is closed and this is where your train will go great for single player or if you got a big community and you've got a full server, you can dedicate one person to dispatch and they can just sit on here and follow each train and flip the switches to the direct direction they need to go to. And they can see all the trains operating on here, which is cool. 
So now for the trains, let's do that. All right, so you can come in here. Open controls gives you a UI. So this shows you your train and all the cars. So when it's in red, it means they are not connected. Connected. So they will stay place. Now you can click on each car and work on each brake. Max speed on your cars is 22. You go anything above that and they will fly off. Here, it'll show you boiler pressure, fuel amount, which is basically zero, water level. Well, when you're moving, it'll show you current speed, speed of the train is 18, water temperature, and fire temperature. So, if I move this over here, we are running the class 48. So, and if you want to do double header, single player, all you gotta do is hit that, and it will synchronize any engines that are connected to this. So whichever one you slide this to is the train that controls all trains. So we'll take off the brake and we'll get a little too. So I will also leave the discord link here because they did make it, made a little attachment to where when you go into this menu, you still hear the sound of the game. So it will no longer mute it. I believe the link is in the Discord. And they kind of give good directions on how to do that. Like I said, we'll put the reverser up. And now you'll watch the train move. Train is moving. Alright, now let's give it some break. As you see, train's moved. Just another good little option. And they always got question marks on everything. So, if you have a question, just boom here. And it'll show you what, tell you what it does. So we'll close out of that. Now we'll go here, rolling stock. So this will show everything you own. All your locomotives. All your freight cars. And then tenders and cabooses. Now I'm not sure. Yeah, you can't change anything here. So there's that. And then player list. It'll show all the players on the game. So when you get updates in the game, you go to plugins. Developer tools. Gamepad plugin, which is supposed to be a controller, but still haven't gotten that to work. Map plugin. And World Logger plugin. These are the two that get updated a lot. Especially when they add new trains or something new to the game. Map will not work unless those are added to it. So always keep an eye when you come here and they will update. Settings. General settings. Player name. Steam player name. To connect remote. Sessions using Railroad Online. So works overlay so this is how you open the map in game mine's set to b so i hit the b button on my controller pops up the mini map so this is for the mini map the world intervals world refresh one second line refresh 10 second features control engines control switches teleport cheats and control cranes you can turn them on or off. Now we get in the map. Background. You can pick a background you want to use. It'll change it. Colors. Now these are cool. Come in here and you can make trains different colors. Make cars different colors. And map controls different colors as too. Well, that's cool. Mini map. Show mini map. Enable transport. Transparent mode. And you can choose where you want the mini map. The transparent mode makes you see through the map and it kind of just looks like it's part of the game. Gamepad. 
Let's see, now you gotta enable game path. No controller found. Let's enable any underbuilder controller to add. So let's do that right now. And there we go. My controller is now added to the gamepad. So here in a minute, we'll go see if that works. So those are those. Console say that then uh, this is where we get the stuff. I'm not exactly sure exactly what these do. Messed with them, but I haven't seen anything. Structures. I said I'm not sure. So if anybody knows what console and structures all this does, please leave comments in the sections or hit me up on my Discord and I can make another further video on how this works or if you guys want to join join me in that and you can help walk through people through it too so that's your basic functions for that home and of course demote now you can go remote where you can share it you can hit here share so when you click on here it'll give you links that you can send to parties so they can get railroads online or they can open it themselves so let's bring that down and let's do some controller testing let's see and nothing 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 nothing's working okay all right so Ugh. my controller does not work mm, lovely okay so we'll stick to mouse and keyboard all right so like i say i hit the b button brings up small version click it brings it solid and you can pretty much do the same thing control engines control switches so when you go to player Hit unfollow and then you got your cheats you can increase your money or increase your xp i which would believe would be good for the money for role for like a role play that you want to sell an engine to somebody or whatnot you can subtract money you can add money flying mode you got slow medium fast so when you enable slow you want to hit Back to your map, you want to be in this view, third person. And you want to use your W, and it'll bring you up. Bring you up and let you fly around. Now, if you want to be stable, go back to first person. And then you kind of got a floating camera. And it just gives you a bird's eye view of your railroad. And can get some pretty cool screenshots. Like we'll do here. I'll take a screenshot now. Alright, got my screenshot. Yeah, there's that. So in these keys you can use W, which will bring you up, bring you down. You can use S, which will bring you down or up. When you're in First person mode. W is forward. S is back. Side to side. That is W. Those are what those do. You can still function. Everything fine. You can lay track here. But you gotta be close to Link still. But you can use this to kind of help guide your... See where your track's going. So we'll do that. We'll show that here. Let's we'll grab some rail, nothing special. And we'll sit here, do this, hit our C button. And now we just go with the flow. Now you can see where your track's going. You can adjust. You can just watch where your track's going. You can see, all right, I want to go that way. Kind of gives you, help you a better line of sight. That's about all what I use it for sometimes. So now we'll exit. We'll go to B. 
Then we turn flying mode off. It's gonna drop you. Now we'll turn on run. I keep it on slow because it's pretty fast enough. Don't need to go much further. But it'll give you what we call dev speed. It'll make your run faster. So that is slow speed. And now we'll show you the difference. And that is normal game speed, full sprint. Now you can get crazy fast in here, super fast. Play with this one. And you just zoom. And I mean zoom. Like how fast we're going compared to the normal game. So yeah, this isn't going to be a super long video. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. That is Railroads Extended. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment. And remember, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. It really does help the channel. And I will see you guys next video. Bye.